For the group stages are finished in Dubai. Now we move on to the quarterfinals. South Africa taking on Samoa. One of the biggest matchups that we are going to get to see in this Dubai Sevens quarterfinal. And it's going to be a tough one to predict. Both sides suffering a loss in their group stages, but both looking to go far in this competition. But throughout this preview, we will be looking at previous fixtures, players to watch, and also our prediction for who will win this quarterfinal matchup. But first of all, we will be looking through at the previous fixtures for Samoa. So their first matchup of the group stage, they were able to win it 38 points to 17. A nice win over the Japanese. Get them on the right track, heading into the rest of their group stage matches. Then they play Canada. Comfortable win. Two men getting doubles in that game. Va Pelomaleko and Paul Scanlon in score. 33 points to 5. And then their most recent fixture, it was last night at 3 a.m. We did the commentary for it. And they did end up losing to the USA 14 points to 12. Now, there were a couple of decisions in that game that went against the Samoans, including about seven penalties against them compared to the zero of the USA. So as long as they have better discipline in this game up against South Africa, they should have a real crack of being able to get the victory. Looking through at South Africa's previous results, their first game, they played up against Great Britain. They lost it 14 points to five. And I think that was probably one of the biggest upsets we have seen of Paul A., alongside Kenya, drawing with the Australians. But that game never really clicked for the South Africans. A lot of handling errors, but they did improve in their next matchup where they were able to beat Kenya 27 points to 12. Some thought it was going to be closer, but South Africa were able to keep their composure and stay strong throughout that game. And then their last matchup up against the Australians. This one was really going to determine who finished top of that group and who got second in the end. South Africa getting the victory 19 points to 12 to find them some good momentum heading into this quarterfinal up against the Samoans. But now moving on to players to watch for Samoa. I say it every time, Va'a Pelomaleko. If he is not playing well, Samoa don't seem to quite get as many points on the board. So he needs to be in form, finding the space, and also finding those crucial offloads. We've seen from Samoa recently, as long as they've got a man in support, they can lure in defenders, then find that little flick pass, and then the space does just open up. Then the next player for Samoa, he keeps on coming off the bench, and I'm not sure why, but it's Yuna Sioni. For me, he's got to be in the starting lineup. I think it's because they've got Valvasa Afasua in that starting lineup instead. But I would have Yuna Sioni there just because of the extra size that he brings. Muscles up well when he's out there on the park. And could be a very lethal player for the Samoans if they choose to start him, rather than giving him a few minutes at the end of the contest. And then alongside that, the last Samoan player I say to watch out for it is actually going to be Paul Scanlon. Scored the two tries up against Canada. Bit of an underrated player in the Samoan side. Always just gets on with the job, makes tackles, and actually is very good in the breakdown, which is where Samoan need to get a few turnovers. The problem, though, is if they do get penalized multiple times in a row, that will really kill off their momentum, and that's where the blitz box are normally able to strike. And speaking of striking, looking through at this blitz box side, there are plenty of players that you could say are the keys, but JC Pretorius is top of that list. He's just got that extra bit of strength and aggression. He's not the biggest player out there on the field, but you'd certainly think it the way he's able to bust through tackles and just drive himself towards the line. We saw that in the game up against the Kenyans. So here's my first South African to watch out for the next player. It is going to be Savive Suya Wapi. When he is getting involved, South African normally have that front football going forward. When we don't really see him, it's normally because South Africa are doing more defense. He's out on the wing. He can be a key player. He's got plenty of pace. We'll be looking to try and get the South Africans. And then the last player for the South Africans, I am going to go Zane Davids. They've underutilized him as well. It's a little bit similar to what we've seen for Yuna Sioni and the Samoans. They just don't use him as much as I think they should. And hopefully, he does get a decent crack throughout this game for the Blitzbox. But now we're up to that stage of trying to predict who will win this game. I think it's going to be close. Could be a similar scoreline to what we saw between Samoa and the USA. 14 points to 12, but I am going to double it. So I'm going to say that one of these sides will win at 28 points to 24. And that side, I'm going to say it's Samoa. I feel like after that last game up against the USA, they'll be extra fired up. to Try and make sure that they bounce back well. And I think they'll be able to up against the Blitzbox. But nonetheless, thank you all very much for tuning in to this preview. We will be live on the channel doing the commentary for this game. So be sure to check that out as well. 8.34 p.m. New Zealand time is when it's kicking off. Should be an absolutely awesome quarterfinal fixture in Dubai. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all for the next one.